Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss, and the Batman trailer is filled with clues. Many of us are scratching our heads over. Some of us scratching so hard, it's looking like we're pulling out our hair and we get haircuts mid-video. But beneath these bloody murders and cryptic wordplay by this movie's The Riddler is what many comic book readers consider to be a grander conspiracy by a network known as the Court of Owls. Who, who the hell are they? If you don't read the comics, trust me, there is a much deeper reason diehards are excited for the Court of Owls other than that new Gotham Knights game trailer that dropped, or the reason I'm fascinated with all things related to birds, those twitchy egg pooping feather angels. In this video, I'm gonna explain what the Court of Owls is, why they are so important to the DC world, and how they could sink their talons into this Robert Pattinson Batman story. Spoiler warning in case I accidentally decode the Riddler's seventh riddle in this movie, I'm kind of moving through them fast. Okay, so the Court of Owls speculation began with the sighting of the Riddler's first clue left at the crime scene in the trailer, depicting an owl on the cover of that card. This plus a ton of other clues that I don't have time for in this video, I'm gonna break down in the next one, has led to speculation that behind the Riddler's killings is an attempt to expose the Court of Owls as the shadowy cabal controlling Gotham City. So the Court of Owls has become a favorite Batman villain since 2011 when they emerged in the New 52 comics. In this reboot, Batman was now only five years into being a vigilante in Gotham, so he assumed that he knew the city in and out, but there was still a lot about Gotham that he did not know. By the way, this might correspond with the Batman director Matt Reeves' insistence that his story is a year two story, not an origin story, but a story set early enough in Batman's life so that he can still be caught off guard by secrets lurking on the other side of his slightly elevated collar. The Court of Owls run begins with the discovery of a corpse pinned to a wall with these blades, and an autopsy reveals that in his tooth is a filling imprinted with an image of an Athenian owl, which is a symbol of wealth and power dating back to ancient Greece. And again, yes, there are owl sightings that I think are just like this in the Batman trailer. They're very easy to miss and there's a lot to go through. Just keep an eye out for that video where I go through them all. Gordon and Batman recall a nursery rhyme they heard as kids. Kind of urban legend spread around the youth of Gotham and the rhyme went as follows. Beware the court of owls that watches all the time, ruling Gotham from a shadowed perch behind granite and lime. They watch you at your hearth. They watch you in your bed. Speak not a whispered word of them, or they'll send a talon for your head. Ugh. Yeah, Batman thinks this is a crock of shit. Until, as Bruce Wayne, he meets with mayoral candidate and city leader Lincoln March. Kind of a parallel to Bruce Wayne idealist figure with big plans to revitalize Gotham when, wow, a talon comes for his head. An assassin named Talon who slashes at him and tries to kill them both. Lincoln says that the Court of Owls is targeting him because his plans contradict their interests for the city and that they left a nest filled with bones at his house. A nest of bones, a detail I didn't find too weird since I went through a phase in which I was leaving that around my house as a kid. I wanted to be a bird. Oh, and by the way, it's worth noting that this Batman trailer also opens with the assassination of the city's mayor, but I think there's a, a twist involved there. Okay, so in the comic, Batman applies his awesome detective skills and ends up researching his ancestor, Alan Wayne, kind of a nutso. Alan Wayne's trust built a number of the buildings in the Gotham skyline, and like many architects, he had a superstition that involved him skipping the 13th floor in the building's construction, which Batman discovers resulted in the Court of Owls using the 13th floor of these buildings as hideouts for their Talon executioners. Batman ends up getting trapped by the court in their creepy labyrinth that starts to drive him insane. And we learn during this process, the Court of Owls has been running Gotham for centuries. They've been using endless resurrected incarnations of Talon, deploying Talon to assassinate figures who go against their control of the city and propping up the various city leaders to do their bidding. And when people don't comply, they trap them in this labyrinth to terrify them into submission. Among their many victims over the ages could have been Thomas and Martha Wayne. A war breaks out between Batman and the court. At one point, Batman does does track them down, but finds them all dead via apparent suicide, but they're actually homicidally poisoned by <gasps> latest talent Lincoln March. Suggested to be Bruce's secret brother, Thomas Wayne Jr. But Bruce and we, the readers, are left guessing as to what the truth really is. So how could this amazing comic tie into the plot of the Batman as we know it in the movie? Look, I know there's a lot of clues we gotta sift through because the best visual clues are hiding in plain sight just like someone's front pocket wallet like The Ridge! Thanks to The Ridge for sponsoring this episode. The Ridge helps you carry what you need every day. 
away from their flagship Ridge wallet to their portable charging commuter backpack, they want you to make the most out of what you're bringing with you. The Ridge wallet is made out of military grade materials like titanium and carbon fiber. It has a clean, stylish design. It is safe proof. So when Jason Voorhees is trying to kill you, he won't be able to kill your credit cards. This is their aluminum silver wallet. They do have other colors, including some very flashy tiki designs. This thing is light, it's strong, just like you. They make it easy to buy with free shipping and free returns and a lifetime guarantee. It's also got 30,000 five-star reviews. So you know they're doing something right. They also have great backpacks and travel bags with RFID blocking pockets and the optional device charging batteries. Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash new rockstars. That's ridge.com slash new rockstars and use the code new rockstars. Find the link in the video's description. Okay, so when it comes to the Court of Owls in this upcoming Batman film, we have gotten a number of parallels and visual clues. I pointed out that owl card. There are some even cooler ones that were harder to spot, and I will get to those. But for now, I just want to talk about the three ways I could see the Court of Owls playing out in the story as we know it to be. The first way it could go, perhaps this Edward Nashton Riddler is this movie's version of Talon, an assassin secretly working on behalf of the court, assassinating those who pose a threat to their rule of the city, and his clues taunting the Batman and his references to justice could be an extension of the creepy taunting from the court. But I'm leaning against that theory only because the Court of Owls are much more discreet. They wouldn't murder the mayor and the DA in big public spectacles, and they would not leave behind an obvious ass clue with a big dumb owl on it. Also, this mayor was re-elected for a third term. He's been in power for a while. He's been doing lots of stuff, busting up the Moroni crime family. I'm guessing this mayor would have been one that the court approved of, a puppet that they put in place and that killing him was an attempt to expose the court. So a second way I see this going, the Riddler knows about the court's existence and his murders are an attempt to uproot their corruption from the city of Gotham and bring in Batman to help with this cleansing process, hiding his messages and clues that only the world's greatest detective could understand. As I will explain in the other video, the two riddles we know about so far from the Riddler depict an owl and allude to a court. Those hints, plus taking out those in charge of the city, cannot be good for the owl's dominion of it. But I also don't think the Riddler is that interested in Batman's help. He's clearly an antagonist to the Batman, and you don't have to look too much further than the fact that tries to blow him up in a church. But that brings me to the third direction I think this Court of Owls adaptation will go. And hold on to your butts. The final exchange of this trailer hints that Batman himself is involved in this conspiracy. You're part of this too. How am I part of this? You'll see. And during the DC fandom trailer, Reeves suggested that the Wayne family was part of this corruption. So you start to see that as it starts to describe this epic history of corruption in Gotham, that you start to understand, well, where did my family sit in that? And Again, since this Batman story is not an origin, but rather one that begins with Batman already in the middle of being a violent vigilante, does this Batman even know how he got started doing this? I'm vengeance. And those chaos bringing street punks fear him. He is the boogeyman that they tell themselves ghost stories about. I suggest that this Batman, without realizing it, might be carrying out the will of the Court of Owls, a Talon type Patsy Executioner who claims to be justice, but for a court of lies. All the detective work the case is given to him are all coming from a corrupt hierarchy, a corrupt mayor, a corrupt DA, a corrupt police commissioner, all put in place by a corrupt cabal trying to maintain their vision of order in the city using this dark knight as an enforcer. This could be a life of vengeance that Bruce inherited after his parents' death, a last will and testament carried out by Andy Serkis' as Alfred Pennyworth who has said the relationship between Bruce and Alfred will be a key part of the story. Batman is the one who watches you in your hearth. He is the one who watches you in your bed. And if you whisper a word about him, he'll send a talon for your head. <laughs> And the Riddler's clues could be an attempt to expose to Batman the lords he has actually been serving. That is the blindness referred to by the Riddler's words. What is the price for your blind eye? Trust me, there are a lot of visual owl clues that back this up. We're gonna go deeper into this in the next video. Stay tuned. In the meantime, follow me on Instagram at EA Boss, follow New Rockstars, subscribe to this channel, and hit that notification bell so you'll be there when the video comes out. Thanks for watching, Batman.